guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm, why is my sweater all the way down like this? Um, today I'm going to be doing a Harry Potter video, or a Harry Potter theory, actually, and I saw my favorite YouTuber, um, Harry Potter YouTuber, The Bakey, do this exact same theory, but I have al also always wondered this. Now, this video is about Draco, for all you Draco fans, because Draco is, Draco is just perfect, like, look at that. But anyway, that was a really bad picture, but oh well. Um, but the theory the Bakey did, aka Sophie Baker, you guys should definitely subscribe to her channel because she is awesome and she, yeah, she does everything Harry Potter related. But um, she did a video saying, or talking about, did Draco, was he naturally bad or did he have a choice? Like, that, that, that was wrong. I mean, did he have a choice? to be the way he was, or was he peer pressured by his father, mostly? Well, his father and his mother, but his father mostly, because Lucius is just bad on a whole other level. Um, but personally, I think, what really made me think about this theory is that in the Goblet of Fire, when um, Arthur, um, Fred, George, Ginny, Hermione, Harry, and Amos and Cedric, R.I.P. Cedric, just had to add that in there, when they were going to the Quidditch World Cup, and the scene where, like, they saw Lucius and Draco, um, Drake, um, it, it was Lucius, Lucius, um, he was like, Draco, you're too good for these people, like, he always talks like that, and then I noticed, like, you have to watch this scene in depth, and analyze it but I noticed that when as soon as Draco said that he looked back and he had like a sympathetic look on his face now you're probably saying Hannah you're reading into this too much and yes yes I am but JK Rowling also said that in the third book which would be Prisoner of Azkaban she considered having Hermione and Draco as a couple. Now you're probably like, wait, when did this turn into a Germione thing? Don't worry, it's not a Germione thing, I'm just using it as an example. But she said she considered having Hermione and Draco as a couple, but she turned down, or like, she didn't go through with the idea because Draco's dad would not approve. And she opened up then to say how Draco had always had feelings for Hermione, but was too scared to admit them because his father wouldn't approve. So that brings me back to the, to the question, Did was Draco peer pressured by his father or was he just naturally a bully? Now you're probably like, Hannah, Draco, Draco's naturally a bully. Well, no he's not. Um, he had a really hard childhood like with his dad. His dad was basically like, Bel like, next to Bellatrix, Lucius was like the main Death Eater, and you're probably like, yeah, that's because we didn't know any of the Death Eaters in Harry Potter, but I mean, just read the books and you'll figure it out, but, um, Draco, he was always a complex character, but honestly, I think he was peer pressured by his dad, um, you know, because like, I mean, he's coming from a, a, fa a family of pure bloods. like, they think that Muggleborns are stupid, um, and everything like that, and so he was obviously the peer pressured by his dad. He, he, I imagine Lucius was like, "Okay, you can't like Muggleborns. You can't be nice to Harry Potter because Voldemort wants to kill him. Harry Potter's bad. Um, we're the best family. Don't tell any, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, and just stuff like that." So you're probably like, "Hannah, you're thinking about this too much." But honestly, I love talking about these theories. Um, and all my friends are like, Hannah, why do you like Draco? I'm just like, why wouldn't I like Draco? But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I think Draco was peer pressure. I said that like 20,000 times. But the, the thing that sets it in stone was when J.K. Rowling herself, the author of Harry Potter, the one who created the entire storyline, said that Hermione wouldn't... And Draco would not date Hermione because his father did not approve. And because his father didn't approve because he doesn't like Muggleborns. Like, that, that, that evidence right there. And the fact that she said he always 
had feelings for Hermione. Like, I'm not making this up. Go down through J.K. Rowling's Twitter if you don't believe me. But she said that Draco always had feelings for Hermione, but he was too scared to admit them because of what his father might think. And you're probably thinking, Hannah, he became a Death Eater after. What in the world are you getting on with? You're talking rubbish. Uh, no, I'm not. Both of his parents were Death Eaters, right? Both of them, his mother and his father, and his father was like a main Death Eater. Um, so naturally, Draco would be a Death Eater because he was forced to by his parents. Like, and, and, I almost forgot one hard piece of evidence. Draco was sent to kill Dumbledore, right? In the Half-Blood Prince, Draco showed up to kill Dumbledore, but he didn't. Why? Because he's nice. I'm just saying, but Death Eaters would love to kill Dumbledore. I, 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 I think so, anyway. Because Dumbledore is the only person that Voldemort fears, so they kill Dumbledore. There you go. Voldemort has, like, a clear passage to murder Harry. Um, but Draco didn't kill... Um, didn't kill, oh my goodness, why can't I think this? There, Dumbledore, there we go, there we go. I know my Harry Potter knowledge, despite what you might think. Um, and honestly, I think that any, like, when Bellatrix, who was it? Bellatrix and, it's not Barty Crouch Jr. Um, Bellatrix, and I can't forget the other Death Eater's name that showed up when he was going to kill um, Dumbledore, and they, like, jumped at the chance to kill him, but then Snape jumped in and did the Avracadabra wish of the wand, green sparks, and then dead Dumbledore. But, that was really mean, but oh well. Um, so, that, that brings us back to the question, was Draco bad? No, he was peer pressured into being the way he was by his family, and that's end of discussion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Draco was the boy who had no choice? Um, also, um, like I said, I got this idea from Sophie Baker, aka The Bakey on YouTube. Make sure to go watch her theory on this video because it was super cool. And no, I just didn't copy her video word for word. I thought of, I've always thought this, so let me know what you guys think. Did Draco have a choice? Was he just naturally a bully and stupid and mean to everybody? Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, let's try to smash 50 likes. So I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoy. Bye!